What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Astro, and today we're going to be talking about the Captain Marvel premium format from Sideshow. This piece, it's a little bit of controversy around this piece, a lot of, a lot of mixed feelings. I'm going to share my thoughts here, and I want to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so here we are. We have the Captain Marvel premium format. Let's pull up these pictures. First things first, the thing that pops out to me the most is the head sculpt and the logo in the front. That's this whole piece right here is, is, is what, is what uh, pops out to me and it looks freaking phenomenal. I mean, from the waist up, I mean, phenomenal. It's freaking phenomenal. Did a great job. Uh, <laughs> let's get straight into the controversy, right? So a lot of people did not like the little blast effects on the hands, right? I'm one of those people as well. So, you know, I don't think anything's wrong with it per se. It's just, I don't know, it just feels a little weird. Now, I'm cool with the fire and the effect up until it gets into like the blast around her hands. Up until that point, I'm fine with it. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe it just could have been done a little different. But, I mean, I, I feel like Sasha did the best they could with this. Um, but, yeah. I mean, otherwise, it's, it's, it's cool. It's, it's, I'm, I'm cool with everything else about it. I love the floating effect. love how she's floating. I think that's really cool. Um, we don't get that a lot. And uh, I think they were very creative in the um, engineering of this piece. I thought that was really nice. Let's keep looking. Uh, almost 24 inches tall, so it's a little bit of a taller piece. Um, so it was, you know, normally uh, 20, 22, 23 quarter scale. This is almost 24, 13 wide, 11 deep. Basic, basic measurements for a base, right? For from sideshow. Uh, let's actually speaking of base, let's talk about the base. So I'm actually not mad at this. This is a very simple base. I mean, the the star of the show is Captain Marvel herself, right? So that's that's the main eye catcher here is, is, is her her not her blast right um the base is the base it reminds me of the uh the flash the flash's base where his base is just kind of rubble and the street and stuff like that that's i guess that's just kind of what this is supposed to portray you can see some of that blast effect coming out of the ground and it's just dirt right Rub, uh, rubble and rocks and you know it's just basic stuff right it's, it's really nothing nothing not, not that much to look at right but uh, you have a lot of that flowing uh, motion, a lot of that uh, fluidness in her, in her, what do you call this, a sash or, or belt? I don't even know what you call it, but the red belt that she has, right? There's a lot of flow with that, which is really nice. Um, from this angle, from the side view, it looks much better, in my opinion. It looks way better for some reason. I don't know, but looking at it head on, it just looks a little weird. From behind, again, looks looks better. It looks better from every angle except for straight on. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess that's a plus, right? Because, I mean, if you display it sideways like that, that's a win, right? But anyway, um, they, there's a lot of motion uh, and movement in the hair, which portrays the story that she's actually flying and moving upward, which is nice. I really like that. Um, it, this pose, looking at it from this angle, gives her a lot of power as well. I, I guess looking at her head on, I didn't realize how far back her arms were. And so now, you know, you can kind of see that and it looks like she's really, you know, about to do some damage, right? And I, I really like that. Yeah, like you can't really tell from this angle how far back her arms are, but yeah, I, I really like this. So do we only have one portrait? Is there exclusive with this? Let me see. Um, but this portrait, I think it looks awesome. This is a great female portrait. I mean, Sideshow, we, we, I mean, they've, made a name for themselves on the female portraits and I think this is uh this is another one checked off on the list where they nailed it right paint app is good everything's good what what are we uh let's see yeah no exclusive okay so it's only the one portrait no edition size yet the price is set at 625 which isn't bad I'm, I'm cool with that and again let's give kudos to sideshow for keeping the prices reasonable right as we can see in you know with other companies you know the pandemic and inflation and everything else has affected these pieces and um, uh, you know statues and but Sasha's keeping their prices where they supposed to be and I you know I can appreciate that 
shipping May to August of 2023, so quite quite a ways off, uh, roughly a year. And um, yeah, I still think this is nice. I still think this is a hit. Um, I think this is one of those pieces that are growing people. Once it starts to ship and people start to get it in hand and start to review it on YouTube, more and more people will start to pick it up. I think it's going to be one of those type pieces. Um, if I had to guess an edition size, I would say this will probably be around um, I want to say 4,000, but I feel like that's going to be too many, too, too, too much. It's going to be too many, uh, too many, uh, too many pieces there, but uh, I'm just going to go 4,000. I don't know what the edition size is for the last Captain Marvel, but that's just going to be my guess. Don't quote me on that. But let me know your thoughts about this piece in the comments. What do you guys think? Is it good, bad, and different? Are you going to pick it up? Love to hear your thoughts. But until next time, you guys be good. You be safe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.